Now, writing in London's Evening Standard, the journalist Rosamond Irwin has uh, been trying to rescue the word spinster. She has said that far from it being a negative word, women should reclaim it. Why? Well, she says the term spinster no longer denotes a desperate woman who missed the boat, but sees it as a woman who simply made different choices other than being a wife and mother. A spinster is a strong woman who is refers to, uh, refers, refused to compromise by marrying the wrong man just to satisfy social convention. So is the word spinster something that you consider to be derogatory? Do you think we should change well, our views? I think it's a terrible word. Spinster. <laughs> it's just kind of spiteful. It sounds dusty. It's like it sounds like everything's kind of shrunk and dried up. And, <laughs> yeah. and like, do you know what I mean? And you just imagine some little poor little pinched thing with her hair in a bun who no one's been near for 50 years. <laughs> Actually, but actually, it is that's the association because spinster could be a female PR person. Oh, oh yes, that's, that's true. true. Spin, yes, that's true. There's a new spin on that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because on a, on a more serious note, I think I think it might mean that nowadays, but I think it depends on the generation. Because if you're in your seventies, and I, you know, I've I've been writing about this recently, because my my mum is. Um, I suppose what you would call a spinster. She never married. I'm not married, so I'm a spinster. <laughs> um, but it's it. There was a, a, a certain amount of trauma and and shame attached to it as well. And it's it it it's something that women have had mm. to overcome. So maybe if you are in your thirties, like the journalist that wrote that, then I guess you can turn around and say it's my choice to live alone. But for a lot of women, it wasn't. And yeah. it's and it just has really negative but connotations. Actually, see, it, well, that's not quite true because when you get married, you are a spinster of this parish. Surely. It meant that you were a virgin. <laughs> Which is difficult nowadays to find a I mean, spinster, some, really. Some things are just, yes, it's yeah. just some things are just too hard to upkeep. What, in we, this day what and we age. need is for Beyonce to reclaim it. All the single spinsters. All the single yeah. spinsters. What <laughs> <laughs> do we need? I, do, I, do, I, I think that it is the word spinster because it's a bit like incy wincy spider. Yes. So I think that's where it gets that connotation of yes. cobwebs down in the, you know. <laughs> I don't, know whether, I don't know whether we can reclaim it. I do think it belongs to fairy tales and words like bindle stiff as well. Yes, bindle stiff. Is that a word? Is that yes. No, bindle stiff is the bag that uh, thingy had on Dick. It's the, Dick, Dick Whittington. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on his. <laughs> Carried away there. It's the red sporty Sorry. hanky. You know, it all belongs to all that. Anyway, um, I don't know whether we can we can make it fashionable or not. Really, I, I think it's quite. Don't you think? Yeah, it's that's like... a bindle stiff well, with the right. goods in. Yeah. <laughs> don't you think it's just you like? You learn something every day on yes, loose you women. Do. Like, <laughs> It's like branding. It's the worst kind. Of, I hate this thing nowadays. You've got to be a brand. You've got to be in a box. You've got to have a title, mm. and then you're so. You know, it's like Miss, Ms, mm. Mrs. And it's like your age is always like a. It's like a terrible sort of prison number. Linda Bellingham twice divorced. Oxo mum sixty three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. Jenny, yeah. you're, you're, you're not married either. No, did, did you ever get your knickers in a twist about the idea of being a, a, a spinster? Or were you just too busy getting uh, your knickers in a twist? <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's not married. Yeah. Um, spinster, spinster Claire, 42. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, no, I never did that thing when I was younger of drawing my own dre wedding dress. I know little girls often do get quite obsessed about wanting to get married and live happily yeah. ever after, but I was born cynical. So I, it just didn't... I, I never got that thing at all. It no. still it doesn't bother me. I'd me make neither. the world's worst bride. being married to me isn't about the wedding. It's about... I mean, I feel like I am married. I've been with Paul 14 years. You know, we're, I, we're committed in every other way. Yeah. So having the wedding is, is kind of... The I only thing I did when I was a, a teenager, I used to worry that no one would fall in love with me because oh. of that whole, you know, oh, fairy tale thing. You know, I thought, well, what if, what if that doesn't happen to me? Well, so the first person asked me, I married him every night. Every night, every night, every night thought, someone could fall in love with you. I thought it's... my life would be a succession of one night stands forever and ever and ever. <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> now there's another word for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and they've been trying to reclaim that one as well. Yeah. <laughs> Fun star. <laughs> yeah. Or something. Yeah. So what should we we should invent a new word then for what do you think? the spinster. Um oh a bachelorette. <laughs> Well, you see, that's fun. Yes. that's interesting, isn't it? Because yeah. a man gets called a, ba a bachelor, and that has very different connotations. Yeah. What does a bachelor sum up to you? Is they, they, they never say poor George Clooney, but they all say poor Jennifer Aniston. True. It's Absolutely not fair. True. Yes. Yeah. Right. Time for a break, but we'll be back very soon, and we'll be catching up with a lovely.